up guys thank you for tuning in to part two of this build if you haven't seen part one go check it out on my channel right now i'm just cleaning out the washer fluid reservoir that was missing on this car and then just installing it and leading all the hoses after that we just continue with the body work of adding some bondo as well as priming and painting what was fixed prior to me doing this install Hope you guys enjoy this video um, please do me a favor subscribe and hit that thumbs up button and get ready for part three coming soon as well enjoy Alright, so after a little bit of struggle, we got it in. I noticed that the frame's still a little bent here, so this bolt's a little bit of an angle, but it's holding on. I didn't do it too hard to not break the plastic here. Um, we got that in. It was a little bit of a struggle to connect the tube here, but we got it connected. Now we're going to tighten it down, and then we're going to try to lead all the hoses where they belong. Alright guys, we got that done. Now, now let's continue with the frame. We are going to be putting on some Bondo. Try to flatten out the frame that got pulled a little better. Uh, make it look a little nicer um, when we cover up with primer and paint um, and then put fender liner. Um, so it won't be as visible, but I hate knowing that it's there. So I'm going to try to make it look as nice as I can. I've never done Bondo before, so this will be a first for me. I'm going to give it a shot, see how it goes. Turns out great great if it turns out kind of crappy then it is what it is um just try to work on it um see how it turns out without or give it a shot um but yeah let's get started so i already actually did a little bit of the passenger side uh, it's kind of hard to tell with the light i kind of did a little bit of the passenger side there's bondo on there looks like i still have to put a little bit more i mean there's I mean, there's a lot of uh, still gaps and dents. Um, it's not going to be perfect, but try to get as much as I can. Then we're going to sand it down. But for now, I think I'm going to add a little bit more while it's still drying. Um, and then we'll continue to the other side. definitely give it a flat surface um, enough to primer paint it make it look a little bit better I um, think I'll be happy with it yeah let's start sanding on the other side all right guys so we got the sanding part down um, I didn't really record it 
um, didn't turn out as great as I wanted it to and also I was just so focused on doing it I forgot to um, just record but we're done we sanded it down now we're just gonna add some primer and we're also gonna go ahead and cover it up with some yellow paint um, I got a color match to make it look all nice um, obviously it's not perfect but I had to uh, I had to make it work with whatever I was working with um, the frame that got pulled was a good job on how bad it was bent so I think it, it's a good enough kind of thing for me I mean I can't make it perfect I'm not a professional but I think I'll do the job but for now we're going to just primer paint and then we're just gonna put everything back together we are back and the next thing we're going to do is paint the front of the bottom radiator support that was painted we're just going to uh, primer it doesn't seem like it needs sanding or anything just gonna primer it a little bit and then paint it over with the yellow paint we'll get that all covered up and then we will also paint the headlight brackets to the original yellow uh, the previous owner never painted them just slapped them on whatever color they were so we're gonna try to bring that back to the original yellow and we're also going to paint the front support as well. But the main part is going to be to paint this, the bottom radiator support that was welded. I'm going to paint that back to the yellow as well as in the front here and the other side. We're just going to cover everything up and start to primer.
Alright guys, we got everything painted, finally done with all the spray painting and uh, ready to put stuff back on. That, that's what I was looking forward to most. Uh, it took a minute, but here we are. Now we're going to assemble everything back and um, in the meantime, while we assemble everything back, see what else is missing, see what else is messed up. I already had to fix a couple wires. There was a lot of exposed wires, so we got that all covered up. Um, now we're just going to put everything back together. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for part 3. We're going to be restoring some headlights as well as putting on the new front bumper and fenders. Please like and subscribe to stay up to date with this build and many other builds to come. Thank you.